for broadcasting live this week from radio from UMass Dartmouth down here in Fall River for the Center of Innovation and Entrepreneurship. I am David Soper with Wicked Local Marketing, and we are my co-host is Peter Meyerson. Yeah, it's great to be here, David, uh, and it's a really wonderful facility, and we have a great guest today. We do. We have a, uh, a very innovative thinker, a very uh, exciting guest, uh, Winthrop Sargent from Winthrop Capital Advisors. He goes by Win. So tell us a little bit about uh, what you do and how you got started in your business. Wow. Um, emerges and acquisitions CFO. I kind of shy away from the compliance side because... Um, you know, I just, to me, that's not exciting. I think that's something that everybody can, you know, everybody can lo you know, logically do. It's all about finding answers. So how long have you been finding answers for these uh, troubled companies or sometimes startups? Since 2000. Since 2000. So, wow. So 2000 had a bumpy economy, and then in 2008 we had a bumpy economy. So you tell us some of the projects that you've worked on during some of those uh, tight economic times um usually it's it's something can i find an answer and the answer is it could be as simple as a management team um it could be as simple as finding something in, in, in a company's general ledger you know all of a sudden now we have a real deal here in, in play um you know uh, f finding a common sense underwriting component that that uh, makes everybody want to do this deal so it could be a floating hotel in the caspian sea it could be a, a wind turbine project, um, and I've done a you know, and I've done a group of them, or, or, or a solar. Usually, anything that's new, um, uh, that seems to be kind of you know, kind of my niche, or something that um, the traditional banking community doesn't feel they can do anymore. With today's rules and regulations, it, that seems to encompass everything. Well, how do people come to find you? Um, usually it's a banker who says, hey, I can't do that. Yeah. Can you give me a hand? Can you make this thing happen? Uh, so that, uh, you know, I find an answer and then a couple years down the road, now they have a ready and waiting, uh, you know, you know client, um, uh, reputation, um, accounting firms, uh, but usually it's, you know, reputations, a, a, pa a past client tells, tells a friend of theirs, um, um, you know, nothing really specific, but usually, uh, you know, because um, I came from the banking world, uh, you know, a lot of bankers, you know, will, will uh, you know, will call me up or, or say, uh, or refer, here, go, go talk to Wynn. So Give I us a sense of what your background was. Yeah, so I started with the Rockland Trust Company and went through the management training program and uh, it was, in, you know, in the retail side of running a branch and, um, you know, then I left and worked for, you know, uh, Shawmut and the Bank of Boston. And uh, it was in the middle market, middle market, and, you know, small business lending units. So it really kind of covered it all. Um, so you have a really good grounding as a banker. Yeah, I would, I would say so. But um, w one friend of mine who, when he explains what I do, he said, he's got skill sets that nobody else can seem to match these days because, you know, your average banker, can they go in into a company and make all the journal entries and clean up the books and produce a financial statement? The answer is no, most of them can't. Um, so based upon that, you know, based upon that premise, are they really qualified to be, you know, a credit officer or really find out the appropriate, you know, structure and niche of, how, you know, how to solve a problem? 